How's everyone doing? Good? I'm not going to speak much today. I'm just here um, um, on behalf of the International Club, who's sponsoring this event this morning. Um, before we get started, we wanted to invite a few um, club members and non-club members and friends of the club to come up over here, please. They're wearing traditional outfits from different countries. And I'm gonna ask them to tell them uh, to tell us what country they represent and what occasion they would be wearing these outfits. Um, so if you could please say your name and what country you're representing. I'm Maria Torres, I represent Colombia. We has the best coffee around them. Well, well, we need to discuss about that. But. Um, so, in what occasions would you be wearing this outfit in Colombia? Uh, Costa Pacifica, a choco. But to parties or weddings or? The folklore, you know, the music folklore. Uh, Folklore, different, different kind of folklore. Okay, thank you very much. Next, we have. Um, uh, my name is Ketania Amid. I'm born in Morocco. This is so, uh, Gilbert, Morocco. So this one. When, when do you wear this outfit? When? In what situation? Uh, all situations. All situations. <laughs> Very comfortable. <laughs> Easy, huh? Thank you. Next we have... Hi, my name is Thais Real Martins. I'm from Panama. And uh, the dress is called pollera. And we wear the pollera in different occasions. Uh, in Panama we have the carnavales. That is four days of drinking and dancing, non-stop. So we wear the polleras to dance on the streets. Uh, this pollera was made for my mother. Uh, it took me maybe six months to do this by hand. It's, it's made by hand. My mother did it for me. The price of the polleras is between eight to ten thousand uh, dollars. I don't have all the jewelry that we use, but the jewelry is priced maybe between twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars. So it's very, very expensive. So I'm very proud to be representing my country of Panama. Thank you. Wow. She needs a and right? in, um, in what occasions would you wear this outfit, Tamis? In Panama, we have like in Puerto Rico, like every month is like a, a kind of a festival in different cities, and then we wear this to represent the country. Very good, thank you. <laughs> Next, we have. My name is Angelica Cabral, and I'm Portuguese American, and this is a traditional dancing outfit called folklore. Very good. <laughs> I wish they could all dance a little bit for us. Maybe I'll convince them later. Next, we have. My name is Fatima, and I'm from Pakistan. We usually wear this kind of dresses in parties and weddings. Very good. Next, we have. My name is Mona, and I'm from Bangladesh. We usually wear these kind of dresses during holidays, during the holidays such as Eid, and also such as weddings and parties. And regular dresses similar to dress, but not as gorgeous as that. I know, that's very pretty. And she told me earlier that she can make these kinds of dresses herself. Right? Thank you. And last but not least, we have... Hello, I'm Eva from Kenya. This is not the that's a Chinese, but we made it short because I had, I didn't take my chip out in here, this is a short one, so a little fashion. <laughs> and what occasions would you wear this? Um, if it's uh, not the bit, Chinese student will be chip out or something because a little hard for work and make you not uh, feel I mean, very, very comfortable, like such a way. So, all, only on the waiting time, 
that we will the initial calls go there and it's okay. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. So once again we have China, China, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Azores, Portugal, Panama, Morocco, Italia, Colombia. Very good. Very good. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shabazz. I'm the, uh, the president of International Club. I would like to welcome everyone here today to celebrate the diversity of international community. I would like to thank the president of Bristol Community College, Dr. Jack Swager, and the dean of Axis in Transition, Director of Federal Trio Program, Sarah Morrell. We know how busy you are, so thank you so much for coming and speaking in support of international community. I would also like to thank the faculty and staff for coming here in support of international community, and a special thank to all students and club members who contribute in international club and who are trying their best to aid to the community. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope you enjoy this event. Now, I would like to introduce the president of BCC, Dr. Jack Swager. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. And what a wonderful day to celebrate diversity at BCC. We're so happy about this. And Tahis, thank you for your warming up the crowd before I got here. Wow, that was something. It's hard to, hard act to follow. Good, thank you very much. Um, I, uh, uh, I love this day. Uh, it's a great day to uh, uh, graphically demonstrate the uh, d uh, diversity that we so much enjoy and value here at, uh, at Bristol Community College. We have a wonderful array of uh, people who bring with them uh, the customs and traditions of uh, the old country, if we can say that, as well as uh, bringing into our uh, campus conversations new perspectives, things that we may not have even thought about uh, that are very important that you bring to us and inform our discussions as we move forward uh, seeking truth with a capital T at all times uh, in our academic environment. So this is wonderful. I, uh, uh, my second favorite day is in the spring when we do our, our uh, international food and festival. Uh, uh, it's just wonderful to see the uh, native dress and the, and, the, and the food and the dancing that goes on and the music and uh, it just comes alive, the campus comes alive. Uh, and I want to thank you all for your presence uh, because you make it happen and it's very important for, for us to have you with us and we want to welcome you and make sure that you are in a, a warm and accommodating environment that conducive to learning. That's why we're all here, right? Learning. Um, and uh, uh, if there's anything that we can do, I'd like to hear from you directly. If there's anything we can do to promote your comfort uh, as you're here at Bristol Community College, please don't hesitate to, uh, to let me know that, okay? Uh, thank you. <clears throat> uh, I, uh, as I say, I value you, uh, your presence uh, with us and uh, someone else who values your presence and demonstrates that every day with her, uh, with her great work is uh, our Dean uh, of Access and Transition, uh, uh, an opportunity. Uh, we, uh, we're just so blessed to have her with us, uh, Dean Sarah Morrill. So Sarah Morrill, <clears throat> she's also the head of the TRIO programs that, again, celebrate diversity. So her, her whole career and her life, uh, public and private, uh, are all united in a commitment to, uh, to the diversity and the uh, search for truth. Sarah Morrill, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, was lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Spraga is a true champion for each one of you, and he means it. He'd love to hear from you. 
Um, I just wanted to welcome, add my welcome to everyone. This is a wonderful annual event. Map Day involves a rededication of this world map at Bristol Community College and represents the wide range of countries that you all represent. It demonstrates this broad and rich diversity that is here in our student body and in our faculty and staff as well. Thank you to all the wonderful ESL faculty who helped the ESL academic department thrive and prosper. And especially thank you to Livia Newbert, who is our ESL coordinator and serves as the International Club Advisor, who helped to prepare this great event along with all the club leaders today. Thank you. Each year we remind ourselves as a community of learners where we all come from and what we all contribute to our common experience here at Bristol and by extension, we all consider where we are going as well. This year we're reading at Bristol as our one book experience, Nathaniel Philbrick's Heart In the Heart of the Sea. And this book chronicles the adventures and discoveries the entrepreneurship and the fierce work ethic and survival skills of those daring and tenacious whalers from Nantucket and New Bedford. And as thrilling as that story is, and we've all become engaged in it this fall, it's no more exciting than the story of each one of you and the journey that you and your families have made, the risks you've run to be here and to begin your adventure in higher education. With the same resourcefulness and grit that our whaling forebears demonstrated centuries ago. So that spirit, I believe, lives on in you. And I congratulate you all today. And thank you for all you do here at Bristol Community College. Thank you. Now I would like to uh, call Grisline de Gracias, the Secretary of International Club, to represent the students uh, in International Club who represent the BCC, the Bristol Community College. So thank you, Grisline. You can see. <laughs> I'm too sure. Oh. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Linda Grassa. For those who don't know, I'm from Cape Verde, and I'm International Club Secretary, and today I'm gonna to recite the countries. I'm going to call the name of the countries, those who are here, like representing their countries, gonna come here, who come here, and, okay, gonna come. Those who are here to represent their countries, please come forward when they call the name of the countries. Thank you. And now I would like to call Eva, who um, who gonna who gonna give you guys the the sticker to put in the countries when I call the name of the countries. The first country on the list is Albania. Albania. Someone in here is from Albania. I know someone in here must be from Albania. <laughs> Nobody. So sad. Um, the next country will be Algeria. Someone? Nobody? Okay. Angola. Hmm. Who's from Angola? Someone? Anyone from Angola? Huh? Nobody? Nobody? Angola. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Next country, Azores. 
Who is Zoris. Here? Yeah, at least we have someone. <laughs> She looks so pretty. <laughs> um, next country, Bangladesh. Mm. Bangladesh. Yeah, we have someone. Two. <laughs> Next country, Bolivia. Someone is here from Bolivia? No? No? Bolivia, South America. Yep. South America. Hamid is from everywhere. Do you have something? <laughs> do, do you have something to say about Bolivia? No? Nothing? <laughs> Brazil. What do you have to say about Brazil? You guys have nice to... country. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next country will be Bul Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Anyone here from Bulgaria? Nope. No one? He's from everywhere. <laughs> We're all learning geography together. He's teaching us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next country will be Canada. Who is from Canada? Canada. Anyone here? Nobody? We have to go to Canada to bring someone here. <laughs> Nobody. Hamid, please. Canada? No. Yeah, can oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Next country will be Cape Verde. <laughs> oh, we have a lot of people in here. Do you guys have something to say about Cape Verde? Yeah, beautiful country. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Next country will be China. Ooh, Eva. <laughs> What do you have to say about China, Eva? Ni hao, everybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Colombia. Here. Oh, here. I was looking to her. <laughs> you know. What do you have to say about Colombia? Beautiful country. Beautiful country. <laughs> Next country will be Cuba. Is from Cuba? Someone? No? No? Representing Cuba. <laughs> Thank you. Next country will be Ecuador. Ecuador? 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 Oh, he's representing everywhere. <laughs> um, um, Cambodia. What do you have to say about Cambodia? 
<laughs> um, next country will be Egypt. Egypt, anyone? Anyone? No? 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 Our world ambassador. Very good. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. <laughs> Next country is El Salvador. Who is from El Salvador? Oh. What do you have to say about El Salvador? Hola. She doesn't want to say Oh, thank you. Ethiopia. Who's from Ethiopia? Ethiopia. Yeah. Nobody? He is coming again. <laughs> Thank you. Africa. Greece, who is from Greece? Mm. Beautiful country. Greece, <laughs> nobody? Greece. Thank you. Next country, Guatemala. Guatemala, come on up. Thank you. Uh, Japan. What do you have to say about Japan? <laughs> um, Guinea Bissau. Who is from Guinea Bissau? Thank you. What do you have to say about Guinea Bissau? Meaning greetings. Thank you. <laughs> Next country is Haiti. Who is from Haiti? No one? Okay, I think one more time you're gonna need the help of him. I forgot his Our name. Ambassador. Thank you. Next country is Honduras. Someone is from Honduras? No one? Thank you. Uh, India. Who is from India? India. Oh. What do you have to say about India? Read about Mr. Gandhi. Hold on, hold on. Okay. You guys want to read about Mr. Gandhi? From India? You guys heard about him? So he's a happy man? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, Italy. Yay! <laughs> He's not from um, Italy, he was born in Morocco, but I'll let him speak. <laughs> Buongiorno a tutti. Buongiorno. Mi chiamo Titani, abito in eh, Italia, soprattutto a Milano. I'm living in Italy, eh, my house in Milano. Thank you. Uh, next country is Iran. Someone from Iran? He's from Iran. 
Yeah. Iraq. Iraq. Someone? Oh. Thank you. Jamaica. He's from Jamaica. Someone? Have <laughs> He's from Jamaica. Lithuania. What do you have to say about Lithuania? Geros de nos, Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Morocco. It's his country. Nigeria. Someone? <laughs> Nigeria. Niger. Nigeria. Nigeria. Pakistan. We have the president and the vice president from Pakistan. <laughs> what do you guys have to say about Pakistan? Now I'm American, so. <laughs> yeah, I was born in Pakistan, but now I'm a more Americanized, so. I am from America. Yeah. It's a beautiful country, I can say. <laughs> Panama or Panama? Panama. Panama. How about Peru? Um, Thank you. Poland. Someone from Poland? No? He deserves something. <laughs> Portugal. Who is from Portugal? Portugal Azores. What do you have to say about Port to Portugal? It's a green country. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. We have a lot of people from Puerto Rico. <laughs> something to say about Puerto Rico? Beautiful, Beautiful country. <laughs> Russia. Who's from Russia? It's beautiful. My help. Have or help. <laughs> Senegal. Who's from Senegal? Someone? He really deserves something. <laughs> we'll give him a cookie. A cookie. Just go over there to grab something. A break. Switzerland. Who's from Switzerland? Nobody? Someone should bring him a cookie. Good job. Thank you. Syria. Who is from Syria? Who is from Syria? Spain. Who is from Spain? Someone? Next country, Taiwan. I don't know if I'm. Taiwan? No? I don't know. Taiwan, Taiwan, Taiwan. Yeah, sorry. Thailand. Who's from Thailand? Buddy. Next country is Togo, West Africa. Togo, West Africa. Congo? No, Togo. Togo. Ukraine. Who is from Ukraine? Nobody. I'm sad. Thank you. Venezuela. Who is from Venezuela? Nobody. Next country, Vietnam. Vietnam, someone? The United States. What do you guys have to say about the United States? <laughs> Thank you. Let's see if I can. Oh, okay. Um, this country is truly a melting, a melting pot. There's so much diversity, and this world opened me up so much. So many opportunities, so many people, so many possibilities. One day, one day, two, different people.
different people, different lives, different cultures, all one nation. It's truly, I'm thankful for this. Okay, thank you. Um, now, now we have all the countries, all the countries to present off the map, and thank you. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Oh, he wants to say something. There are three countries that have not been mentioned, and we have many. I'm Jim Pellet here. There are three countries that have not been mentioned that have contributed greatly to the United States of America, and they're in my heritage. Uh, my mother was Irish, and Ireland has not been recognized on the list. And uh, in Fall River, there are many Irish Americans uh, and have contributed greatly. Our uh, president, uh, John F. Kennedy, had Irish heritage. And uh, he asked all of us, you know, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And the statement of this young man is exactly that, that we all have responsibility to contribute. My father was French from Pesh in Normandy. And so France helped the United States to gain its independence. Uh, we shouldn't forget uh, that. And my beloved wife is German, and uh, I can't go home and say we didn't recognize <laughs> Germany today, so Germany should be on the recognized. And yeah, I teach chemistry, and uh, many great chemists were German, so that they have contributed greatly uh, to uh, the heritage of the United States. Uh, just to maintain the record, uh, I did, by the way, send these names into the committee, but perhaps too late for them to get on the list. Uh, but I want you to know that uh, although I'm Jim Pelletier, I'm also a member of the uh, professional the faculty and professional staff senate. And as such, uh, we have subcommittees and I'm the chair of the diversity committee, so it is the most appropriate that I bring you the greetings of the professional, uh, the faculty and professional staff Senate today in this wonderful and noble work that you are doing. Thank you very much. Thank you. One for Germany. <laughs> There's a beautiful lady. And one for France. Standing in uh, New York Harbor. Yes. That was a gift of France to this. Was a gift of France to the, this beautiful lady in New York Harbor. Uh, that was a gift of France to the United States in honor of what we, we have done and tried to do. It's true. Thank you very much. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Fatima Javed and I'm the Vice President of International Club I would like to thank you for taking time from your busy schedule to attend MAP Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this event, and we will be looking forward to see you again in future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.